creative transformation? That's a fancy word uh, for uh, talking about relational theology, uh, which is uh, the language that I like to use uh, about who God is and uh, who Jesus was and who we all are as a Christian community. Um, when you look at the Bible, uh, the action of Jesus usually involves uh, relational issues and uh, he embodied uh, creative transformation and that's the idea uh, that the divine power in life is able to take uh, all of our experiences of death uh, and turn them into new life for us and uh, we are called to simply trust that power of God and uh, Jesus as Christ uh, was creative transformation that was his power and that kind of transformation uh, which can be trusted, uh, will give us courage and strength uh, to do all the things that we want to do in the future. And it's recognizing also that uh, the future really is open. It's radically open. I don't think God even knows what the future is going to be because uh, God is waiting for all of creation to make its own choices uh, as God entices them from moment to moment into their own future. And so uh, that is uh, creative transformation. That is God's power. Uh, a great example of uh, creative transformation uh, is in the book of, uh, of the Gospel of John, uh, where in that first story that we get uh, of Jesus at the wedding, uh, where he uh, transforms the water into wine. And uh, reading that story, you realize that nobody knows that it's happened, except for Jesus uh, and, uh, and the wine steward. And yet, uh, that small transformation of water into wine is not explained, it just happens. And so there we get a very small uh, drama about how creative transformation works. And so then, from story after story in the Gospel of John, that theme of creative transformation is amplified. And so we get story after story about how people's illnesses are transformed into health, uh, and all different kinds of uh, ways of of seeing where creative transformation is. Uh, so that, that idea gets amplified so that by the time we get to uh, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, we are almost expecting something like that because that is on a very broad scale, in a very dramatic way, an example of creative transformation. God, God took that experience of death for Jesus and uh, turn that into new life for him in ways that I think he was even surprised. Uh, and so that same power of creative transformation is still very quietly working all over uh, in each one of us. And uh, that is the basic power that God has in, in the universe. And that is just simply inviting everything and everyone to, to, to respond to God's lure uh, to make the next step in life and then the next one. So creative transformation is all pervasive, uh, and yet we see it, uh, how it works in, in the Gospel of John as an example.